every Monday so that people can get accustomed to hearing the names and kind of put faces to the names to know who we, the cultural officers at the cultural division, are. Want to big up Athlean Douglas Murdoch, who's in the house with me right now, and Fesele, Giselle Hyacinth, Wilson Matthew, um, Carlton Henry, Doriel Diole, Sherilyn Mate, Jerome Sabroch, Orlando Coffey, Aaron Hamilton, Ordell Hamilton, and of course our district officers, Gillis John Baptist, Irv Matthew, and Nephilia Dura. Want to big up our past cultural chief uh, cultural officer, Mr. Raymond Lawrence, who I know always supports our ventures. Auntie Pearl Christian, also a big supporter of everything that happens with, about, and of, and for culture. Want to big up Gregory Rabbis as well, and everybody else into culture, big up yourselves one time. So today, it's another beautiful Monday. And of course, if in case you didn't notice, we are in the month of July. Those of us behind a rock, because you know some of us we like to sleep in or not check the dates. <laughs> it's the fourth of July, so happy Independence to all the people of the Americas, the U United States, and everybody, all the diaspora over there celebrating with them. Uh, today we're gonna be focused a lot about emancipation. You know, culture is never asleep. Like you know, sometimes they say the people in Maho never sleep. Or tomorrow is always alive, just like Point Michelle. So culture is always alive. We never sleep. And everything that goes on in culture is here and more present now. So just make yourselves comfortable because we're going to be talking culture right through. Not just on a Monday, but every other day. Culture is important. So here we're going to be focused on emancipation. And I have Mrs. Arthur Douglas Murdoch here with me this morning to help me expound on it a little bit and to give you guys a little bit, bit of an insight as to what our emancipation season has already begun and, and, and what's going to be happening for the next couple of weeks. So, Mrs. Murdoch, I mean, you are no stranger to Culture 101. I just want to tell you good morning and uh, how are you doing this morning? Hello, Tasha. I'm fine. <laughs> it's nice of you that you're fine. I am always, always, always feeling privileged to have you as well as any of the cultural officers or any of our cultural icons with us in studios at DBS Watikoli Mondays. So, emancipation. I mean, it's a name that we've been hearing forever from little children growing up to being cultural officers, to being musicians, to independent season. But emancipation has its own its own class. It's a no, it's a class by itself. It, it has its own form. It has its own elements. Mamadok, what is emancipation really? Emancipation is um, really, a, in fact, the emancipation season. I would say is a season to really commemorate a, an important part of our history. Mm. We were brought from Africa here as slaves in the colonial times, mm -hmm. and afterwards, on 1834. We were, it was um, a, a big day because on that day, slavery was abolished. Mm. And it was abolished kind of, you know, part, in part. And on, in 1838, it was fully abolished. And all slaves in Dominica and all over the Caribbean were made free. So it's a very critical date of our history. And it's also a time for us to reflect and look back on the milestones mm -hmm. In, in the life of, of emancipation and emancipators, right. and also to see it as an important day when we highlight the, the trials, really, as black people in the Caribbean. We went through a lot of trials and, oh, yes. and hurt. Mm -hmm. And we have to, it's a time when we highlight the trials of our past and pay tribute to the heroes of a dark age because emancipation, really, slavery was a dark time for us. And this dark, this sort of highlighting that would sort of uh, help us to look forward and plan our lives in a way where we can really say it was worth being de emancipated. And that's very important, you know. I think we lack the knowledge there of most times when we hear certain topics or we hear certain season named after certain things. You know, it's oblivious to us. We just hear the name emancipation and we figure, okay, emancipation. But the depth of it or where it actually is rooted from is, I think, is most critical, most important. That's very true, Tasha. And in fact, we really talk of emancipation as August Monday. Right. And you would ask a lot of young people even now at what is e first of August. And they call it August, August Monday. Monday. They don't know I never what know is the connection with emancipation. I, growing up, I never knew it as emancipation. I always knew, okay, August Monday is the first Monday in August. We're going to the beach. Most people go down to Mary, Purple Tittle, or whatever, wherever they, they choose to go at the time. And that's all I remember to be food, drinks, family, beach, liming. Yeah, we're just dancing. We're partying. But what are we partying about? In fact, it's, it's, a, it's lucky that mm. this year, 
1st of August, 1834, happens to fall on a Monday, August Monday. But that most of them can fall. And, and many islands have recognized that. Mm -hmm. And they make em, um, uh, Emancipation Day on the day, 1834, 1st of August. When, whatever, whether it's Wednesday or Thursday, that's irrelevant. Okay. They celebrate it on that day. No, I matter, mean, what day it falls. no matter what day it falls. And oh. that is one thing we, we need to consider because we are losing the meaning, the true meaning of August Monday. Which is really Emancipation, emancipation Day. Look at that. I mean, it's only, no, I mean, knowledge is power, and I always say that. It's good that you are able to know, divulge that information to us young people. And I still consider myself very young. I mean, some people you say are. I'm old, but <laughs> it is what it is, you know. <laughs> I, I just think this is, this, is, this is integral. This is very important that we understand that August Monday came as a result of our emancipation in in 1883, you said? 1834. 1834. I'm I, I moving a little too fast. <laughs> but yes, in 1834, whatever day or the 1st of August would fall would be considered Emancipation Day. So look at how look at how we just broke it down for you guys. I'm really hoping that you guys are taking notes because our history, all of this is part of our history. And as I was telling Mamelo earlier, without your root, you can't move forward. You can't grow. You can't blossom. You need that root to be fully uh set in the ground in, in, in the in the in the earth with watering and tender and nurturing and everything. So I am just very happy that we got that definition and that explanation today. Mamudok, thank you so much for that definition because I too felt a little bit lacking in the, the, that part of the knowledge about emancipation. As you said, it's very important to understand your past. Yes. So that you can plan the way forward. Right. And that's why we at culture we recognize the past, the present and the future. Now the season has already begun. And you know, it's starting on a grand high because today is our very first event for the emancipation season. And uh, that event specifically is called or considered the Kalinago Territory Establishment Day Concert. It starts today at 7 p.m. at the Karina Cultural Village in Bataka. That's at 7 p.m. in Karina Cultural Village, Bataka, where we'll be having our Karinago Territory Establishment Day concert. Now, this concert specifically is uh, highlighting all aspects of only the Kalinago people. And this is important. Why? Mamadok, I, I remember asking you that question as well. How does the Kalinago people relate to that of emancipation? What is their role? Why are they so important? As part of our emancipation. Because the Kalinago also played a role in our emancipation. And if you think about the Maroons and all that, the Kalinago, in fact, has had a role to play in the emancipation of slavery. So we cannot forget that. And it's good that we highlight them too. And their, their inclusion is important. You see? So I think every everything... Everything has a, uh, every, there, there, there are steps, there are steps. We start with the Kalinago people because they were here before most of us or most of our people. And then we move right into slavery. How did slavery come about without the actual inclusion of Kalinago people? We have to remember those things. So we're giving them an opportunity now to showcase themselves and, and tell us their story. Tell us where it began and what part that they have to play in emancipation by starting off this season with them at the Kalinago Territory Establishment Day concert today, tonight at 7 p.m. So if you guys can make the turn, I would be very pleased. I think all of them will be very pleased to learn that part of their culture, to learn why and where and who and what and how. Such a beautiful thing. I'm just very happy that that entire concert is going to be fully about the Kalinago people they are going to be doing their displays we're going to have a live band we're going to have dancing we're going to have the um songs in their particular uh, language their dialect just to see them in the element and i think it's a beautiful thing we keep hiding these things and the people don't know what's going on they don't know the they can't make the connection between these things so i'm just so pleased that tonight at 7 p.m we're going to be at the Karina cultural village in bataka at 7 p.m guys 7 p.m most likely it's, it's going to be streamed live on our cultural division facebook page as well as our youtube page so you guys can always go and check it out this is important this is how we started this is our route I'm very, very pleased. So we're just going to take a short break and then uh, we're going to come right back to talk about emancipation and some of the other events that we have planned and carried for you guys.
All right. All right, guys. So we're back in the studios and back at our discussion or with our discussion about emancipation and some of the events that we guys will be having uh, on the cultural division in collaboration with the Kalinago Territory people. Uh, this is just a wonderful thing. Just want to remind you guys at 7 p.m. tonight, we'll be having the Kalinago Territory Establishment Day concert. They're going to be giving us their story in their own special way. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so moving right along, every Friday this month is going to be carded as African Dress Days. So we have the 8th, as this Friday, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th island-wide. We are going to be dressing up in our African deity or African outfits or African prints, our necklaces, our bracelets, our headpieces, whatever African attire that you guys could possibly have in your wardrobes some people are going to make things some people already have a lot of things but every friday is going to be considered african dress day july 8th that's this friday the 15th the 22nd and the 29th so guys mark on your calendar every friday this month of july is going to be respected as african dress day dress up wear your jewelry be fancy up and all your all your your Workplaces are going to be expecting you guys to be dressing up. Make it something to remember. Make it something memorable. So that children will ask, why are you wearing this African print? Why are you so colorful today? It doesn't have to be just this month, but we're specifically asking for everybody to consider every Friday African dress days. So guys, starting this Friday, we're going to be all in our nice African emancipation dandan, taking pictures and sending to the Cultural Division Facebook page, send it to our YouTube page, send it to our email address at culturaldivisionoldmail at gmail.com and share in our celebrations for emancipation. Moving right along, we have a next event coming up called, uh, well, another event the UE Film and Discussion is basically going to be at the University of the West Indies Auditorium on Thursday, July 14th. And I'm moving, I'm jumping a little far-fetched, but there's another date coming up. So July 14th, that's a Thursday, that's next week Thursday, UE Film and Discussion is going to be a film about uh, uh, emancipation and some of the topics, uh, including, or as a result thereof. Mama Doc, you wanted to say something? Oh, I thought you wanted to say something. So, guys, we're going to have a lot of events coming up, and that's just only one of the events. It's at 7 p.m. at the University of the West Indies Auditorium next Thursday, July 14th. There's also going to be a discussion afterwards, so you guys can always check that out. Now, just before that, that's this Saturday coming July 9th, the Cultural Division is going to be putting on a show. This show is called the Afro Artistic. We had one last year that went extremely well. It was well represented, well received, and we are looking forward this year to having this next event. Mamodok, were you there? Yes, you were dressed in your nice dandan. How was it for you? How's the experience? For Wonderful you? experience. What great, exactly great did you show? Just you know, it's a, just an expression, a, a beautiful creative expression of ourselves. I'm telling you, everybody came out in your nice dandan, even me. <laughs> and it was well attended. People spoke highly of it. And this is going to be even be more on a grander scale. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I think you guys could come on down at the Omil Cultural Center on Saturday. This coming Saturday, July 9th, from 5.30 p.m. to enjoy Arthro Artistic. I say Arthro for T-H-E, boy. Arthro. <laughs> A-F-R-O Artistic. Full, full, full dimensions. It's, and every aspect of our culture will be included in our Afro-artistic concert or celebrations on that particular day at the Omil Cultural Center. And I am so ecstatic. I can't wait for you guys to see all that hard work and putting in all these different dances, this singing, the drumming, and everything that comes along with it is going to be memorable. I am guaranteeing you guys that. So again, we're just going to take a short break and then we have a few more events that we'd like to mention to you guys and we're coming right back to Culture 101. Problem. 
La guerre mondiale commence, les qui pèquent à l'été, la vie à nous en danger, les amis qui ça nous prépèrent. Donc allez laisser ces pays la souffrir, pour toute la gens la seule la veille. Donc à voir ces pays la malheur, la terre qu'a fait ou pas mêlée. C'est bon père physique au capet, la vie à une sainte. La mérite c'est la guerre, c'est la guerre, c'est la 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 c'est le risque qui déclare, mais c'est bon mieux qu'à mettre la mairie qui est caca, mais ça passe après l'ordre de la vie. Donc, à laisser ce pays la souffrir, pour être toute la terre la paix, la terre. Il y a un pays la malheur, la terre, il y a un pays qui est malé. C'est bon, mais physique, il y a un pays qui est malé, il y a un pays qui est malé. And that song was a, a song called uh, La Guerre. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, La Ger. Ooh, hey, Betasha, you learning, you learning La, La Ger. It's by George Augustus from Kalibishi. He was one of our Dom Festa competitors, I think, a couple of years ago. And that's why I say we always promote Dominica's culture in terms of music here on Culture 101. And we want to divulge right back into our discussion about what's happening for emancipation. So far, we've spoken about three of our events, and we have a lot more, actually. <laughs> it's a very, very jam-packed month of July, and so much is going to be happening that we want to make sure everybody gets a chance to be included or feel like they are part of our celebrations. Our next event will be Francilia Egas at exhibition. She'll be having her exhibition from Friday, July 15th, that's next week Friday, until Friday the 22nd, that's the Friday after that, <laughs> from 6 p.m. at the Omil Cultural Center. So that's a whole week of all her art work her pieces so if you want to get something from done by her or from her you can always check out the Francilia Ega art exhibition on Friday 15th July uh, from 6 p.m. until next Friday that other Friday the 22nd of July at the Omil Cultural Center now we just we're making sure that we mention all the events that have been happening but before we continue into the next event you know, Mama Duck and I were talking about emancipation again, the day itself and what it represents. And she wants to give us a little bit more or just to share some of her thoughts and uh, just to express herself a little bit more about what she thinks emancipation means to us in Dominica. Yeah, big, well, I think emancipation is such an important thing. It's part of our history that w one of the things that kind of worries me a bit is that history is becoming unpopular. Uh -oh. They hardly even teach history. I used to be a history teacher for many, many years. Oh, yes. I know some people find it boring. I, I don't think <laughs> the people actually, Mamba Dog, Mamba Dog, no, they find it. I found that. I, I, in fact, I had to stop bothering about dates too much and just making it sound so rich and real that I think those that I taught history to me have not thought it as boring. I would hope so. I think it's because of the generations coming up. If you don't make things exciting for children, mm -hmm. they, they're not interested. And I can attest to that because obviously I, I went through that process i hated history growing up i didn't want to hear anything about history me and history were not friends <laughs> until i met this particular teacher that's miss john baptist or just john baptist as well as dion dura who made history something i wanted to know about something to talk about something to ask about something to inquire you know and then i i also got a little bit of experience with lennox honeychurch himself by doing some of his lectures and, you know, it's just intriguing the way they explain some of the things that happen in history. I'm like, that's exactly, that's what happened. As opposed to me thinking as a, a teenager in a classroom that you have this textbook and you have to remember everything because it's coming on the exam and it's going to be bursting my brain. I'm like, you know what, man, history, I, I'm, I'm good. 
I did not even do history for CXC. That's how bad it was. I did not like yeah, history. And we cannot afford to eliminate history from but our no, education. But no, my perspective is way different. I hope many people I think, feel like you. I think they say age brings reason, but it's, I think it also allows you wisdom and experience brings more a better, broader, wider perspective. And history is so integral, so important. Without knowing your history, you don't know who you are. When they tell you, identify yourself, what's your name, ma'am? My name is Tasha Pelty. But who is Tasha Pelty? Who are her parents? Who are her parents' parents? Where did they come from? What country? What island? You know, what does this name mean? What, how did you start off? All these things mean something. Going way back allows you forward. You, you yeah. cannot go forward if you don't know what happened back then. How did your parents make you? How could you know if you didn't ask your parents? Your history is important in every aspect, every corner, every nook and cranny of life. So emancipation is, as you said, part of our history. I believe it's very important. And every West Indian should know that connection. I remember, the f I, I mean, because of my job and even through Jeff, we, I traveled a lot through Africa. Mm. And I'll never forget when Jeff told them he was married to a a uh, black woman, they were so excited and he <laughs> said they would bring him to the village. And they were excited. I, <laughs> I mean, imagine. And when I entered that village, I'll never forget it. I'm getting goosebumps even now. Aww. The persons from the village, they were making their tonto and their different things. Mm -hmm. And the lady was speaking in Swahili or one of those things. She and she ran towards me. <laughs> such, I mean, just a black woman from the Caribbean and that, our, you know, person that we worked with all this time from America, bringing that. It was just a, a joy. And I, I mean, it is a, and I think we really need to rec and make that connection that stronger or connection else. with Africa. And if us have done, um, that's why we, we, I, I'm thinking I, we, we need to make, to, I'm calling on Dominican to mm. seriously reflect on some of the historical milestones which paved the way for the freedom we enjoy today. Mm. We just take for granted our freedom. But some people, there are thousands, hundreds that have died in colonialism thousands. for where we are today. And we don't pay any tribute to, to them who fought that battle. We just hear about the Maroon we hear about people dying from, you know, suffering from slavery. So it's, an, it's a chance to reflect and invite people to give some more thought and meaning to Emancipation Day and why it, what it stands for. And Mama Dog, you make me shiver a little bit because, I mean, that is something that is passes, it passes over everybody's heads. You know, um, people died. People lost their lives okay. fighting for our freedom. The things that you see, they, there's a statement I think I'm the little things you take for granted sometimes mean the most to your existence. Something as simple as wearing whatever you want as a female, wearing a short skirt, um, maybe wearing something tight fitted, or wearing pants. Back then, women did not wear pants. We can wear pants now. We can, as a matter of fact, we actually have a voice. People fought, died, got brutally abused mm -hmm. back then in order for us to be able to have that liberty now as women we were not allowed to speak our husbands would be the one at the forefront speaking on behalf of the family making the money um getting the wealth so he could have the big houses and all the family for all the animals and we just had to stay there breed children <laughs> i say breed because that's what it was like for them then you know and take care of the household and at the end of the day now we can be independent and have our own careers and have dreams and be the, become the prime minister of a country and speak on behalf of and be the manager of. You know, we never had those kind of liberties before. And that's exactly why emancipation is so important. We forget why we are so free today. Freedom, everybody wants. You think anybody likes being behind bars or not having the, 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 the opportunity to... To, to walk on the streets, decide, you know, hey, Auntie Ivy, I go down the road. You couldn't do that before. Even as adults, we take that for granted. You have a little car, you figure you're paying your bills, you free up, you can go and take a drink by the bar. Some people don't have that liberty. They have to stay in their houses. And these things still exist today, Mamudok. Mm -hmm. People are still being forced at their homes, um, having to stand behind their husband because he's the face. And I, I, I speak of that because um, even my experience in Dubai, and maybe Auntie Ivy can even attest to that. Whilst we were going through the expo, you know, we, we, we observed the lifestyle, the people who actually did the Muslims and the Hindus and all these different um, uh, races or people, as you, as you would call it. And you would watch all the couples, or all the families coming through to watch the expo. And the husband was at the front. The wife had to stay all the way at the back. 
and the children are next to her or being pushed on little, uh, how you call them, um, the prams, right? So, and they, the women never spoke, Mamo Doc. Wow. They never spoke and they had to be fully covered, fully dressed, and they were not alone. They couldn't even smile for you. They, if their eyes would fall on you, maybe they, they might get a look from the husband like, I find you watching that person a little too much, or why is that person looking at you? You know, different mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. cultures mm -hmm. are embraced differently. And even today, we take for granted our freedom. So I'm glad you brought up that, that, that point, Mamudok. Thank you so much for that point. So we're going to jump right into the next event, guys. So we spoke about having African Dress Day every Friday. I'm going to keep repeating that after every event because this is important. We want to see everybody's nice dan dan. That's the word for today. <laughs> and uh, we're moving right along. So... Now, we're going to talk about our Massac Mural Launch and Culture Night. That will be done in Massac on Friday, the 22nd of July. Mamanok, you can explain a little bit more for us about the mural in Massac. Or like, it's basically just us trying to revamp the history as to how the mural came about, what, what is the history about, the, about Massac. And uh, we're going to display that on well, this particular Masak night. Massac is a crucial, critical piece in that I... I, I'm not 100% sure, but I understand that even the word massacre came from a massacre right. where slaves, instead of being caught and put into slavery, they preferred to jump over and kill them, yeah, commit suicide, <laughs> dive in. Yeah, and that happened in, in a place in Grenada where I went to school for some time. Mm -hmm. They call it sautés. They sauté oui. and fall down. I'd rather that. In other words, I'd rather drown and die than, be, than not get, give up my freedom and be enslaved. Right. And that is a strong comment to, to, course, you know, to make. Of course. By, by. So we are a brave people, really brave people to even have so many of us make that kind of decision. Exactly. So Masak, so it is a time to, because so Masak has this special kind of meaning. And also because one of our most, probably our most famous artists early 10 to kind of oh, honor him so as well. rest in peace, yes. Yeah. So he's definitely going to be. artist. Yes, yes. And if, if some of you have been driving through Roseau and maybe close to the ferry terminal, you'd see that there's also a lineup of so many different paintings of different um, cultural, musical artists in Dominica. I saw, well, obviously we saw it from the, from the scratch because Aaron and, and his crew and his team have been working so hard painting those paintings. We saw Mikkel Henderson, Ophelia Olivache Marie, um, uh, Gordon Henderson and all the rest, it's so many of them. If you ever pass in around the roundabout, right after the ferry terminal, you get to see that display of wonderful art. So guys, don't forget the Massac mural launch. We're going to be launching the mural as well as having a culture night on Friday 22nd in Massac from 6 p.m. We're going to take a short break, as we like to do, to ensure that Dominica's music gets a little bit of airplay. And uh, we're going to come right back with Culture 101 right here on DBS Radio, Mighty Cooling Mondays.
right, together we can be strong. This one is from Mikkel Henderson and a lot of artists. So Mikkel Henderson was on this song. Uh, she wrote and produced and arranged this one. Then you have Tarina Simon, my cousin, who is also, well, a Calypsonian. She was part of this, this song, Dice, King Dice. Nine-time King Dice is also a part of that. Uh, I remember Lloydie on this one as well. And if I'm mistaken, I'm not too sure who the other person is or I can't remember at the moment. But this one is uh, the journey, celebrating the journey together. And that's what we're doing right here at Culture 101. We're going to get into the next event. That's going to be carded this month, July, Emancipation Month, or Emancipation Celebrations. And that will be what a lot of us love. That's the Kadas Lipso Tribute Festival. It's going to be at the Winter Park Stadium from Friday, July 29th to Sunday, July 31st at 8 p.m. Guys, Kadas Lipso Tribute Festival. So I know a lot of artists are going to be coming out singing some of the most famous most popular Kadas Lipsos at that particular tribute festival on the on July 29th, July 30th, and July 31st. Right, no, yeah, right. So, guys, come on down to the Winter Park Stadium, a sports stadium, uh, to be a part of the full experience of the Kadas Lipso Tribute Festival from Friday to Sunday. Friday the 29th, Saturday the 20, the 30th, sorry, and Sunday the 31st of July at 8 p.m. Carlos Lipso is part of our musical culture. It's something that I've always thought about, you know, taking part in, but we haven't had the competition for a little bit due to COVID. I mean, if I have to tell you how fed up I am of saying it with COVID, <laughs> but it is the reality of things and it has prevented us from moving forward with a lot of things, but it has also given us the chance to step up fix up get set prepped and ready for what is to come we have a, we had a lot of time to think a lot of time to meditate a lot of time to prepare for what's to come guys ah some people are so excited about uh, World Care Music Festival coming up soon. <laughs> so get yourself set, prep, and ready. We are here on Culture 101, uh, Yticoli Mondays on the DBS radio program. For those of you listening, thank you for joining us. And we're just here talking full and being focused on Emancipation Celebrations 2022. Our next event following the Kadas Lipso uh, Tribute Festival is our Emancipation Day exhibition and concert. So I will let Mamudok give you guys a little insight about that particular event. Yes, on that day, which we normally call August Monday, and which I would like to refer to as Emancipation Day, and luckily this it falls on 1st of August this time, <laughs> yes. the real Emancipation Day, <laughs> we call on all the Dominicans who can to seriously reflect on some of the historical milestones which paved the way for the freedom we enjoy today, mm -hmm. and pay some homage to the people who participated in this revolution. So we invite you to Hampstead and Old Sugar Lime Plantation to enjoy some spiritual, historical, cultural moments together in a spirit and atmosphere of cordiality and jubilation. We'll have an exhibition of past poems, for instance, short stories, crossword puzzles, eh, and eh. drawings and paintings on slavery and emancipation done by students, primary school students of the Benz Primary School. True. And even at that age, they were so deep. I was, I was amazed. So you so heard those poems already? I have them. Eh, I, eh. They wrote them and they put it in the form of a, either a poem or a song or a picture or a painting. We're going to have that all exhibited. And thanks again to the Benz Primary School for having such a, a deep reflection. When I came to them one day and we, on one of the heritage days, we, I spent the day with them and they came out with some fantastic work and I want okay. to exhibit it on that day. <laughs> yeah, and we have the exhibition also includes our craft. I mean, we are such a brave, brilliant, beautiful and creative people. And we don't need to hide that. We need to highlight it. And that's a day for that. We're going to highlight the creativity through a lot of um, our creative crafts, our crafts in, in, in color bash in, in, in using the fuji, all our craftsmen. <laughs> Anybody, in fact, who wants to exhibit or to perform, just let me know. We'll call us at Culture 266-3160 and come along and make that be a real African vibes. Give that number again. 266-3160. 2663160. The performances will be, and remember, we want you to dress African to come, so, so the vibe is really strong. So if you're not coming in African group, we won't let you in. So dress African, and we, we, from the spiritual side, because we are spiritual people too. We have in both the spiritual, to start with a spiritual vibe, both from Catholic, Pentecostal, and Seventh day. So all our, our religions, they come in together to 
to worship and to thank God for where we've come to this point. Mm. And they'll be there, the drummers, Roly and the Rollers, mm -hmm. Pan, Jingping Bands, Quadrille, you know, Contemporary Thanks, Hip Hop, you just name it, The Works, at The Works, Hampstead. What time exactly is this going to be starting? It's from one o'clock. We're starting from one o'clock and we go until about five. What? But Mama Doug, that's and a food, jam food is a sound coach, hey, hey, you know, hey. and the speeches from inspirational speakers like, you know, our pal Rep will be there, Julian Prevo, Dr. Ooh. Will Sherell, powerful people to touch our hearts and our souls and our spirit. So as we move forward, we move forward in a different kind of way, not just moving forward slow. Now we're moving forward strong, confident, and willing to bring Dominica to the top. So we have Ophelia, you mm -hmm. know, con you know, just, you that's know, a jump, sound coach, braf, tablet, yes, tonton, I, all our food, I know, Every way, way, in I every way we're talk. celebrating <laughs> Africa and Creole on that day. Look at that. That was a mouthful, guys. And I'm sure it makes you want to come and taste the food, to come and listen to the inspirational speakers, the music, the drumming. And support our artists and craftspeople, you know, cosmetics, all sorts, in all kinds of ways we do arts and craft. That will, they will be also demonstrating and exhibiting and showing there. So, you know, in, in every form that we are, uh, we want to show, we want to show off then. It's like a <laughs> showcase of the brilliance, the creativity and artistry of our people. That's Remind them really of the is. date, the time and the place, my yes, is at 1st of August. That is Monday, what we call August Monday. So after the Kana Slips of Show, mm -hmm. on the Monday we tend to go to the beach. Well, you could go to the beach in the morning. You can even <laughs> go to the beach after you hang out with us for a while and then you go to the beach after. But find some time between 1 and 5 to celebrate with us and to enjoy the and to, to kind of a showpiece and showcase the, really the beauty of our people and, and what scared. Emancipation Day means for us. So we're looking forward to that. And we, 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 know, we, we think that... Um, Somehow we, we're not actually expressing all of who we are. There's still much more we can do. And mm -hmm. that is the reason why we want to give us a little, a little more, a little, a little hint, maybe a greater hint of what we're about, what we can do and where we can go and to inspire us to do just that. Okay, and that's at the Hampstead Estate. Hampstead Works. You know, Hampstead Works is just by the river. So you can even have a, go in the river and bathe. You can go, you know, there are a lot of, you know, or you could bring your family. It's like a family day. <laughs> you can just hang out with us for a while to get mm. the vibes, the emancipation vibes, and then go, go purple turtle, go the go river, go, yeah, anywhere. anywhere, you know. <laughs> just make it a day. But at some point in that day, between one and five, stop and hang out with us. Mamadou it's a free show, it's free, <laughs> and I mean, and once I want to thank the many artists, all the persons who will be there making it happen free of charge. Free you know? of yes. charge, and, so and the is, Dominicans like free. Yeah, this. because we don't we don't want to have we, we want people to feel free to come, and we don't think that somebody shouldn't be able to come because they cannot afford a fifty dollar, hundred dollar ticket. Although it would be a, a hundred dollar worth, but free of charge because all the persons who are exhibiting. And all the persons who are performing, they're literally doing it free of charge. That is a marvelous Even thing. Um, 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 Mildai Groovers will be with us. Where? And my mother can make everybody come down to Hampstead Estate yes. works. That means you'll have space. Well, I have not that. been there as yet, but yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we'll Space take care to, of all to that. To be able to accommodate everyone who's going to come. Yes, yeah, and you, yeah, to dance and free up. Yeah. Mama Doka, I suspect you're going to be dancing and freeing up oh, yes. everybody because oh, yes. that kind of enthusiasm <laughs> you're giving us there, talking sure. about that show. Mm. <laughs> and a Definitely. big smile, too, you know, so people... Mm. <laughs> when you tired, you sit down. You sit down. Have a uh, uh, You have two hours with with pepe on um, cooking on two hours. You can sit down. <laughs> sit, just sit down. Just find yourself. Just make yourself comfortable. If I can stand up, you can stand up too. So we stand up, we make lie down, we sit down, date. just free up yourself. <laughs> make it a date. Want. Yes, yeah. sir. So guys, August Monday, you see that full schedule. You have Mama Dog told you, okay, go to the beach in the morning. <laughs> she fix your schedules for you. Go to the go to the beach in the morning so that you can come down to Hampstead Works on Emancipation Day. That's August Monday after Kada Sipso Hot Weekend at Tribute Festival and celebrate and express and enjoy with all of us. Oh, my God. After that, I think we're going to take a little piece of the next song and we'll be right back shortly. <laughs> I love it.
And that one was another Dom Festa entry by Royal Laura. Never miss the water. This one is strictly about Dominica. And I love it, love it, love it. Written by Gina later. We're going to dive right into our next event. And that is our last event on our emancipation season calendar. And that is the Golden Drum Award Ceremony and Concert, which all of us cultural people look forward to every year. This one, this time around, is going to be at the All Mill Cultural Center on August 6th, 2022 at 8 p.m. That is our Golden Drum Award Ceremony and Concert. My mother just give us like one minute, two minutes, just letting us know about Golden Drum, you know, where it started. Just your little, your experience with the Golden Drum since you have been here from its very inception, from since it was born. Well, I don't remember the exact year, but what I remember is that it's, it's I always thought it was a, a very important thing to do because there are many persons who make significant contributions to That's our, right. uh, you know, where we are in the arts and in the emancipation and all mm -hmm. that. And sometimes we can forget. We can remember certain ones and we, some people fall into the background. So the Special Recognition Awards and Golden Drum Award was an opportunity to highlight those people and to give them some plaque or something that they can, you know, have at their homes or wherever they are to let them and others remember that they contributed significantly to the culture and the arts in Dominica. That's and I agree fully. About. I agree fully because I too received a special recognition award not too long ago for being the first and only female Calypso monarch of Dominica. I received it in 20. 14 thereof, I think, or 2013. I won in 2011 and I was recognized in 2014. And it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. It's a lovely opportunity for people to understand how significant the contributions are in culture. The more you do for culture, the more the young people recognize culture as something that needs to be uh, nurtured so that it can continue. And p some people, as you said, they work so hard and they contribute their life's work to culture. They play everywhere. They're in jumping band. They that, for example, and I always use this example because he's the youngest of the bunch and he's so diverse, so versatile, so deeply rooted in culture. He came from Petit Savan and he's also a cultural officer and that is Odell Hamilton. I like to give him his flowers while he's alive because I see how hard he works and how dedicated he is to culture. He grew up wanting one thing and then got an experience with something else and look at him today. He plays all the instruments. He does all the workshops for those instruments at schools and he, he helps to train groups all over the island to ensure that culture remains prevalent in our young people in Dominica. So... Yeah. That's one other thing about Odell that I like is that although he's, uh, you know, very connected with the traditional dances, mm -hmm. he's also into the contemporary too because Everything. he's a member of ecstasy and, and triple, and K, triple band. K. Exactly. So that doesn't mean because you you hold on to contemporary and you go into new things. What what we have to learn to do is to be able to make the connection the and do, and have the the new things and create and so on, but not let go your past. You no, have no, to no, no. bring it along with you, bring and the tradition with you as it is. No need to let it go just because you want to go modern. And that's why I love the anthem because our culture, our culture one on one anthem depicts that in the lyrics. It speaks highly of the connection from then, and as as we always say in our little motto, it is the connection from the past 
the present, and the future. So the Golden Drum Awards ceremony and concert will be held at the Omil Cultural Center on August 6th, 2022 at 8 p.m. You don't want to miss it because we're going to be recognizing some really, really hardworking, dedicated cultural icons and people in Dominica who contribute significantly significantly to our culture. And that was our last event that we'll be having. Emancipation is from July 1st, which has already passed, to August 13th. Just to run through the events before we close up with you guys, we want to make sure that you guys remember that you can contact the Cultural Division via our Facebook page, Commonwealth of Dominica Division of Culture, our YouTube channel, that's Cultural Division, and if you have any inquiries, you can always call the office 266-4489, where you can book the old mail for reservations, for parties, for wedding receptions, all kinds of things. Just make a phone call, 4-4-266-4489, and you can make your bookings now. You can also do photo shoots and anything you want uh to know about culture if you're not certain you can always make a phone call and ask you can always send us a, a message via our email or facebook or youtube channel guys we also have so many documentaries that you guys can always go back to watch you can come back to watch this event culture one-on-one -on, -one, on our page as well as the dbs whitey mondays uh page as well this is our culture and emancipation is here don't forget every friday it's going to be considered an african dress day so come in your nice fancy African prints, get your jewelry, your 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 headpieces, your clothes. I mean, we watch so many African movies, we know how to dress. <laughs> we know how to make ourselves look presentable in that regard. So guys, every Friday for the month of July is going to be considered African Dress Day. Our first event is carded today at the Kalinago Karina Cultural Village in Bataka. At 7 p.m., we're going to be having the Kalinago Territory Establishment Day concert you guys don't want to miss this you see some of your ministers dancing and playing instruments in bands and so on so come on down and support the kalinago territory establishment day concert don't forget afro artistic is on saturday july 9th that's this saturday at 5 30 p.m at the old mill cultural center we have our ue film and discussion on thursday july 14th 2022 at 7 p.m. at the University of the West Indies Auditorium. We have our Francilia Ega Art Exhibition on Friday, July 15th to Friday, July 22nd, 2022 at 6 p.m. at the Old Mill Cultural Center. We also have our launching of the Massac Mural and have our Culture Night as well, which will be filled with all kinds of foods and dressings and drummings and music and dancing, all African emancipation style, on Friday, July 22nd at 6 p.m. in Massac. Then we have our fabulous weekend of Kadas Cal Lipso <laughs> Tribute Festival from July 29th to Sunday, the 31st of July, from 8 p.m. at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium. And then we have our Emancipation Day that Mamudok was so excited about and still shaking and shivering about what's going to be happening at Hampstead Works from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. or between that time where so much is going to be happening to celebrate our Emancipation Day, also known as August Monday, the 1st of August. And last but not least of our, of our, our many events for the Emancipation season is our Golden Drum Award Ceremony and Concert, which will be held at the Omil Cultural Center on Saturday, August 6th, 2022, at 8 p.m. Guys, this is Culture 101, where we, we just want to say thank you to our guest speaker, Auntie Ma Murdoch, <laughs> Aflin Murdoch Douglas. And thank you so much to our console controllers, Auntie Ivy, for being here with us and supporting the vibes and giving us the opportunity to share in our vibes at Culture 101. This is the place where culture is going to be moving forward. Thank you guys so much. We are here to educate, to inform, and to enlighten you. It's an opportunity where we look back and we look forward. And we look forward to preserving, promoting, and developing Dominica's culture every Monday and every day of the year for all of us to do. It's our business. Culture is everybody's business. So let's keep it real. Guys, this is Culture 101. Why to Kobli Mondays on DBS Radio. Thank you. Have a blessed and happy Monday. Until next time, we're going to get a little piece of our anthem, Culture Anthem 101, Culture 101. See ya.
God and all mankind, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Commonwealth of Dominica and the Sovereign Republic.